Hey everyone, welcome back to Sofa and Shell. I'm Kev today. Oh, yes, I can't wait. I, I can't even wait. I can't wait. You know, you know, it is time for another episode in the Among Us franchise, which is taking the world by storm at the moment. This one's episode three, long, long time. If you're wondering why there's a little fella not here, um, reason being is, is because, like I've mentioned, like you know, I only get them on a weekend. Some of you don't know. And if you don't know, that's the reason. I only get them on a weekend. So he'll be watching episode two next week, or maybe episode two and episode three. We will put it on the channel so you can see his reaction to it. But I can't wait. It's Monday. I can't wait for a full week to not watch this show. No, no. It needs to be released ASAP and watched yesterday, given the chance. Um, yes, I am loving this show absolutely loving the show now it has taken the world by storm completely um for 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 a good reason uh i can understand now why the game was so addictive a lot of people were saying that they've played the game not once not twice three or four times and it's still now clusters their favorite games of all time i can totally understand why and the fact that they've done such a great job that what i've been told of taking the game to the big screen no wonder it's so addictive um, the characters, yeah, it's so immersive. Even what Lewis was saying, one of the things I did ask the little fella is uh, when we were watching it, did he enjoy it? And he was saying it's so like immersive and it's such a great word to describe this show. Um, it does, it draws you in, drags you in. It doesn't even have music on sometimes. It's just very quiet. It just lets the scenery, lets the feel do the job for you. And uh, yeah, and what a job it does. Yeah. The one thing that we have to take out of the last episode is unfortunately... We lost badass Tess. Not only was she a great character, I thought the actor, uh, the person who played her, was um, was unbelievable. A lot of people uh, mentioned that I have just watched The Pacific really uh, recently, and uh, she she plays a very small part in The Pacific, and you would never be able to tell the difference. You'd, you'd never be able to kind of t put them both together because obviously, I mean, obviously that was a while ago, but the characters are two very very different people. So I'm I'm, I'm obviously gutted that we lost Tess, and now we've got Joel. Is, is it, nah, he's alone, he's alone with Ellie. And it was kind of, um, Tess used to kind of be there as kind of like the, not, I wouldn't say the, you know, the, the, the one keeping the peace, but she was there to say, no, look, we need to kind of keep going. We need to, you know, let's get it, let's get it to where she needs to go. Now it's just them two. How is Joel going to respond? There has been little hints that he, you know, he is kind you know, he is not affectionate, but he is, you know, he's aware that she is still a young girl. Do you know what I mean? When she fell over and he kind of grabbed her and then realized and was like, oh shit. But, you know, things like that. And I, I do feel like he's going to kind of come out of his shell a bit more and be, be more of a protector. You know, at the end of the day, he, he did lose his daughter. And the look around the same age, I, maybe his daughter was a little younger. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see kind of what's happening next. This episode's a little bit longer than the other ones. I, I think we started the. The show with the the premiere was 100 and i think it was an hour and 20 minutes i think and then the next episode uh, the infected was i think 45 to 50 minutes and i've just looked at this and this has a runtime i think it's i mean even with the trailers sorry the, the the credits i think it's like an hour and 15 minutes so a little bit longer which is fine by me absolutely fine by me i'm not gonna argue yeah so it's very early it's um it's monday morning in the uk it comes out at 2 a, 2 2 a.m in the morning you see I'm at work later today, so I've had to get a little bit of sleep, but I can't sleep. I've woke up and I've gone, oh my God, it's, it's Among Us Day. It's Among Us Day, so I've got to watch it. If you're enjoying the channel, hit the like button and subscribe. It really, really does help the channel to grow. Um, and also, we do put the full length reactions to this over on the Patreon. You don't need a copy. It's uncut and unblurred. So if you like watching full length stuff, get yourselves over there. But yeah, if you want to turn your notifications on as well, so you know when we upload something, because me and Lewis will be uploading this. Uh, the, the second episode of Among Us next week. Well, the end of the week. But yeah, in the meantime, oh my god, I can't believe it. It's so good. I can't, I can't. Let's do it. Are you as just as excited as I am when this comes out? I bet so. God, I'm so addicted. I love the way they do that. It's like the fungus grown. Then you kind of see their outline at the end. Poor. You have to let me know in the comment section, have you watched it when you're, whereabouts you are in the world? And have you watched it as soon as it comes out? Do you watch it immediately as it's getting shown? Me, Princess Mug. You know who you are.
You better have your princess mug. Oh yeah, I punched that Fedra officer straight in the face a million times. I mean, obviously, I know that was a while ago now, but I like the fact that they did that. Normally, a couple of episodes later in a show, that he'd just be fine again. But he's like, no, he did crack a bone. They had a huge history, though, and I'd love to see some backstory to that. She's been brilliant so far. That Bella Ramsey, fabulous actress. Have you got any chicken sandwiches left, love? Is he going to offer some food? I knew it, yes. He's starting to... He's starting to break. Yes, Joel. Have you been in the woods? Ah, uh, she's never been out the... behind the walls. Look, I've been thinking about... I want your sorry. I wasn't going to say I'm sorry. Nobody made you a test take me. You needed a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. Yeah. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. Yes, Bella lass. I'm going to call her Bella from now on. No, I won't. That is very true. They were never made to do it. They need the battery. He needs to go and see Tommy. So he made a decision. Him and Tess made a decision to take her. Yeah. Well done, lass. I cannot wait to play the game, people. I cannot wait. I think I'm thinking. I'm thinking of putting it on Twitch. Like a little separate Twitch. It's so you can watch it if you'd like. Let me know. Are and Frank nice? Frank is. How'd you get that scar on your head? What? Is it something lame? Like you fell down the stairs or something? I didn't fall down <laughs> any stairs. Okay, so what then? Someone shot at me and missed. You see, that's cool. Shoot back? You get him? No, I missed too. It happens more often than you think. I like the fact he didn't say I shot him back. It was like a no, it happens more than you think. It's quite it brings a little bit of, a little more element of reality to it. I gotta grab some stuff I stashed. Whoa. Stashed. See stuff like that. He's got a stash. Here what? So he's like you can almost you can start to feel that he's been around this place. There's this one character named Melina who takes off her mask and she has monster teeth and then she swallows you whole and bursts out your bones. Ugh. First time you kind of see quite childlike of her. You forgot where you put your stuff. No. I'm just zeroing in on it. <laughs> it's been a couple of years. Is there anything bad in here? Just you. <laughs> ah, getting funnier. Second time you said that. Careful. Shit. Yeah. Dark. Get a torch. Yeah, that's better. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, you get nervous, don't you? Because you just don't know what's going to happen. Fuck yeah. Hmm? Careful. <gasps> Sounded like one of those pit, like one of those click things. Oh, it's fucking it. Oh my god, it's proper squished. Can't move though. Ooh. Oh, it's definitely locked in there. Nah, she's alright. She's going to go over and call it a Dickhead. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just a little turn of the head scared us. You can see all the fungus growing out of its head. Whoa, look at that. Holy shit. You never get a chance to see them that close up. Oh. Whoa. Stab it in the head. Wow. Not even the slightest blink from it. Whoa. My God. She's a little badass. She's just gonna walk out like, well. Here she comes. Picked over my ass. Well, you had seen that. It was a good scene. This guy just kind of like a different side to her. There's not much ammo out there for this thing. Holy shit. 
Whoa. You one of those? A few times, sure. So lucky. Oh, you keep forgetting that these were born after. So these, like, she's never done anything. No one's infected with the cordyceps. Everybody's fine, eating in restaurants. And how did it even start? Then who bit the first person? Was it a monkey? I bet it was a monkey. It wasn't a monkey. I thought you went to school. Cordyceps mutated. Probably a basic ingredient like flour, sugar. It's the world. Bread, cereal. Jakarta. You eat enough of it, it'll get you infected. People bought it. Ate some Thursday night or Friday morning. Day goes on. They started to get sick. They got worse. Then they started biting. Friday night, September 26, 2003. By Monday, everything was gone. They dropped the bombs. It makes more sense than monkeys. Yeah, it does, mate. Yeah, it was a very... It's. I like the story as well. It's very kind of realistic. Sure. Because I haven't gone too far from what could happen if the, the degrees change and fungus mutates. There's stuff up there you shouldn't see. Whatever it was, I think it's gone. Oh, skulls and everything. Shit, dog. About a week after outbreak day, soldiers went through the countryside, evacuated the small towns, told you you were going to a QZ, and you were. Oh, I killed everyone. If there was room. Oh, they had all the bags and everything gone. Oh my God, that's fucking brutal. These people weren't sick? No, probably not. I killed them. Dead people can't be infected. So instead of, um just leaving them. Oh, it's gonna go back. So instead of just leaving them, they decided to kill them because they know that they can't be infected then. We're gonna kill the baby and everything. Oh no, it might be a part of a resistance. Oh yeah. Oh, so there's a, a room under the basement. Not today, you New World Order Jack Boot Fucks. New World Order Jack Boot Fuck. Oh no, they're all getting mauled. Oh, they even give you the date. You need to evacuate by a certain time. Whoa! Dear me, they need to be in there. That... What? This guy knows what he's doing. Do you know what things like uh, the people who the class is conspiracy nuts? Uh, that's not my word. Cons some people are classed as that. They're probably the people who end up doing well because they've got basements with ammo and weapons. And do you know what I mean? You can just go into anybody's house, anybody's car, just do what he wants. Hey, I'm gonna nick a board. Yep. Fill the whole things up. He's off to Home Depot as well. You know I don't <laughs> need no more. You know it won't be long. Free to do anything? Go anywhere, get anything. I'm gonna get it. Oh, he's gonna get a generator. So, the, yeah, they've just evacuated everybody and he's got his free reign to do what he wants. Oh, he's building traps and everything. Holy shit. He's building everything to make sure that he's self-sufficient. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be honest, that looks pretty good, like. Alarm went off, so he's like, who's this? Oh no, that's definitely someone dodge- Yeah, that's someone dodge pot. Shit. You can see. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, he's awesome. <laughs> oh my god, he's like- Yeah, he's got himself his own little compound. He's got his own little town. Four years later. Holy shit. So he's been self-sufficient for four years. 
No one's like bothered. No one's come back. Would you get lackadaisical after, after four years? But after four years, would you not just start to relax a bit? I'm not infected. Are you armed? Yes. No. Why did you take that long to answer? I thought about lying for some reason, but the reason didn't come. I'm just trying to get to Boston. Careful. Yeah, I'm, I'm alone. He's going to be dodgy, Somewhere. isn't he? Baltimore QZ. Are you hurt? It's just, just a bruise. Don't hurt him, though. I don't want him. To, uh, I don't want this dickhead to like hurt him and out because he's all he's trying to do is survive. He's gonna say, "Go on, then get on your way." Stop there. Green. Do you know what I mean? He's been like he's he's pretty awesome. He's done what everybody would love to have done in that situation. Boston is that way. I'm really hungry. Don't. I haven't eaten in two days. It feels long. I'm letting you go, so go. All right. First, my name's Frank. Oh, yeah? yeah? Here's the thing, Frank. If I feed you, then every bum you talk to about it is going to show up here looking for a free lunch. Yes. Piss him off. Sorry, mate. He's let him in his house after four years of being kind of solitary. Oh, I feel like he's going to do something bad. And I, hate I left him. some clothes here for you. Thank you. Although, can I have five more minutes? Sure. Thank you. This is amazing. Do, do you know when you just have that bad, weird feeling that this bloke's gonna do something bad? You would have a distrust of everyone. After four years of being alone and being on your own, of course you would. Maybe he's not, maybe he's just helping him. Look at that. Cuisine, <laughs> food, five star. He's even cracking the wine open. God, this bloke must think it's Christmas. What the fuck? Oh my God. A man who knows to pair rabbit with a Beaujolais. I know, I don't seem like the type. Don't kill him, don't kill him. He's just helped him. He's never going to oh, want to leave. Thank you. thank you. You're welcome. Oh, man, bless him. It's, he, he would need company after a while as well. Don't you f dare. So I guess I'll be going then. All he has to do is think, and if all I have to do is kill him, and I've got what you have. I've been staring at this the whole time. Is it antique? This is you. <laughs> Can he play? Things in stride like a He's starting to kind of like take a few chances now, taking the piss a little bit, I think. Not this song, not this song. Well, I'm not a professional. No. Don't. And then I'll leave. Don't, don't, don't! I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to pull the gun out of his side holster. He's behind him. He's going to hit him over the head with something. Love will abide. Take things in stride. And time. Is clean. Don't, 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 don't hurt him. I know to try and make you mine. I know, I can feel it. I can feel it in my chest. Don't hurt him. Who's the girl? There is no girl. I know. Oh. 
Don't hurt him, though. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him, though. Is this guy just gonna stay with him? Don't hurt him! What's your name? Bill. Fuck you! Bill? Come on! Hey! What? You stop? Do I ask for things? Our home isn't just our house, it's everything around us! Oh wow, thank god. They, they I didn't... live in this world. You live in a psycho bunker where 9-11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! Well, yeah, now, but not then. Okay, okay. Paying attention to things. It's how we show love. Seven years since the outbreak here. And I'm fixing up some of the shops. Wine shop and the furniture store. The boutique. Are, are we hosting formal garden parties now? <laughs> no. But we are going to have friends. Excuse me? What? We don't have friends. I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. What? Don't you say shit like that. that you what? That'll tip him over the edge. He's... Well, this really is just... It's amazing. Oh! I'm the same way. Oh, you're a paranoid schizophrenic too? I'm not schizophrenic. It's tested, Joel. How nice this is to have a civilized meal in such a beautiful place, even if we don't end up working together. I really needed this. We are working together. It's weird saying that because you think of like, normally that you get used to a couple of characters and then like there's some outsiders, but we love the outsiders. Frank! Songs. <laughs> like normally I would say don't do it, but now I'm sitting going, but it's, it's Tess and Joel. So yeah. I understand. Brought strangers into our situation, I wouldn't be happy either. But of all the people he could have found on the radio, were actually decent people just trying to get by. Books, medicine, machine parts. We can help each other and get that gun out of my face. Yes, yes, Joel. Get that gun out of my face. So what, you were a prepper or something? Survivalist. We're self-sufficient here. That fence has got a year on it. Tops. If I can get you ten spools of high tensile aluminum. Last you the rest of your life. Lives. Been a very interesting episode so far. We should uh we should use codes for the radio in case anyone's listening. Oh, that's a good idea, right? We know it's Joel and Tess, so we know it's fine. Fedra's never gonna come up here. And you're well protected against stray infected. But sooner or later, there'll be raiders. They'll come at night, quiet and armed. Ooh, he's right though. We'll be fine. Oh, he turned them down, turned down the help. And they're gonna get killed, the raiders. We're gonna get them. Oh, that's Bill and, oh, okay. Where's my head been? Where has my head been? Uh, sorry, I've, I've completely and utterly lost the plot there. Bill and Frank, that's her on the radio. My God, I need to, I need to. I've been so in immersed in this episode. My brain did. Because uh -huh. Ellie was saying, what a, a villain Frank Knight, and, she, and he said, Frank is. You'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Yes, Frank, lad. It's a strawberry. Get some strawberries in you, Billy, lad. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I do apologise. I was very late to that. They've mentioned Bill and Frank a few times. Even Ellie said, who's Bill and Frank? It's just, I, I did not click. <laughs> so this was another few years later, it's jumped. Getting older faster than you. Oh, I like you older. Older means we're still here. I was never afraid before you showed up. Oh, right, yeah. He's only been afraid ever since he turned up. He's got someone to lose now. Yeah, so Bill and Frank, so they've mentioned a few times that they're still alive. I found the strawberries. <laughs> right. Don't do it. Shit. 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 Boom. 
He's already gone. Bill's already gone. Oh, ho, 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 fucking hell. Bill! Bill's already down there. Bill! Oh, it's a shit. Keep, keep your head down, Frank. Bill's already there, man. As soon as he heard that first beep, he was already out there. You need to stick with Frank. Surely they'd have had like some kind of plan in place to get to talk to say when this happened. Oh, he's there. Bill! Bill! Get inside! No! Oh! You got shot. No! We gotta get you inside. Oh, he's been hit in the stomach. No! Inside now! Ah. Fucking Frank, if you hadn't said turn round, he wouldn't have been hit. <laughs> it's not like he's around the corner, is he? You need to get out. You need to get that bullet out. Right here. Frank! Right here. Leave the gas on! I'm right Leave right here. Leave the gas on. Right here. The fence. The fence will kill the rest of them. I made a list for you. Piece of, of all the keys. Good. Uh, call Joel. You can't be here alone. No. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, call Joel. He'll take care of you. Don't. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare. Bill didn't die. No, no. Nah. He's still alive. It's getting cold. Okay. Oh, what's happened? What's happened to Frank? Ten years later, so it's almost like... I was going to say they've caught up. We'll get you warmed up. Oh, he survived. Frank saved him. It's very kind of sad, this. Like, so sad, but it showed that they had a life as he had a stroke or something. Oh, look. We can't paint anymore. I wish they'd done this. I want I want them to do this with, with, um, with Tess and Joel so we get to see what they, their lives were like for the 20 years. Oh. Probably still sell that somewhere. Oh, he's had a stroke. Has he had enough? Oh, he's had enough, hasn't he? He's, don't do anything to yourself, Frank, lad. <clears throat> no. Oh, they like, Bill looks like well, Bless him. Yeah. Oh, it's my heart's getting pulling on my heartstrings. Bless him. Mm. Is that why the music came on? And is it because Frank's died? Uh, took most of the night. <laughs> I'm exhausted. God damn it. You gotta be kidding me. I promise you I'm gonna stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. Oh. What if we find a doctor? What if what if someone shows up who can or MRI salesman? And I'm old. <laughs> there wasn't anything to cure this before the world fell apart. Yeah. Oh, has he got MS? Mine. Or something. Is that what it is? He's got multiple sclerosis or Bill. Mm -hmm. Come here. They've had like a life together almost, at least. After the after the shit that went down. We've had 20 years together. I'm not going to give you the every day was a wonderful gift from God speech. I've had a lot of bad days. Uh -huh. I've had more good days with you than with anyone else. Just give me one more good day. Hmm. Starting now, make me some toast. Hmm. Take me to the boutique where I'll pick outfits for us. And we'll get married. And you cook a delicious dinner. And you will crush all of these up, put them in my wine. 
I will drink it. This is harrowing. Then you will take me by my hand, bring me to our bed. And I will fall asleep in your arms. Do you love me? You have to? Yes. Then love me the way I want you to. Sad. Music was sorry, the music came out of the radio. I'm guessing that was to signify that that, that Frank died. Yeah, that's where Joel and Ellie's going now. See, with a scene like this, the music's very, like, impactful. This must be so hard for him. He'll feel more like a... <clears throat> sorry, he'll, he'll feel more like a burden than anything. Oh dear. Will it be enough? Yeah. Ah, oh, this is shit. I hate this. Just do the lot. Oh dear me. That's it. He's... He hasn't, no, no, he's going to say, has he done the same? Why are there already pills in the bottle? He's done it. Enough to kill a horse. This isn't the tragic suicide at the end of the play. I'm satisfied. And you were my purpose. Yeah. Shit. I do not support this. Oh, I should be furious, but from an objective point of view, it's incredibly romantic. Mm. Oh, Romeo and Juliet kind of ending. Are they going to get there and then both going to be dead? Because it's 2023. Joel and uh, Ellie going to get there and they're dead. It's a weird one, that. Because as much as... Like, normally you have to build up a few episodes to get, like, attached to the characters. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that happened very quickly. They're going to be able to get weapons and stuff. Oh, has he left a le message for them? It's the key to get downstairs. It's from Bill. To whomever, but probably Joel. <laughs> to whoever, but probably Joel. So they're dead? Mm-hmm. Oh. August 29... 2023. If you find this, please do not come into the bedroom. I'm guessing you found this, Joel. 
because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> <laughs> Take anything you need. The bunker code is the same as the gate code, but in reverse. I never liked you, and I respect you. I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. But I was wrong, because there was one person worth saving. That's, That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. And God help any motherfuckers who stand in our way. Yes! Yes, Bill. I leave you all of my weapons and equipment. Use them to keep... Yes. Oh dear. Ouch. Stay here. Oh. Dear, that's fucking bad. I'm gonna cut him like a knife, that. Couldn't keep us safe. Shit. But now he's got another job. He's got to keep Ellie safe. So, only get what you need and you can always come back. He's got everything he needs to make a battery. Can he make a battery? Show me your arm. The other one's healing now. I have a brother out in Wyoming. He's in some kind of trouble and I'm heading out there to find him. He used to be a firefly. My guess is he knows where some of them are out there. Maybe they can get you to wherever this lab is. All right. If I'm taking you with me, there's some rules you got to follow. <laughs> yeah. Rule one, you don't bring up Tess ever. Rule two, you don't tell anyone about your condition. They won't think it through. They'll just shoot you. Yeah. Rule three, you do what I say when I say it. We clear? Yes. Good Repeat lass. it. What you say goes. <laughs> Good lass. To what now? Load up. We grab what we can. Always leave that open. Put that down so no one can see it. Oh my god, look at that arsenal down here. She's gonna be like, what the fuck? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> look at this. This guy was a genius. <laughs> 80s. Trouble. Dude. No. <laughs> There's a wall of them. She has a point. Provisions, load up. As much food as you can. Need another hour. They have hot water. Have a shower. I'm taking a shower. And then you're showering. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think he's starting to, he's starting to like, like her. Oh, why'd you do that, L? Oh. Is there a gun? It's a gun. She's gonna pocket it. Good girl. Oh. Why well, don't you look pretty? <laughs> Shut up. That was good with the feel having a shower. Has she ever been in a car? She won't have. It's your first time in a car? It's like a spaceship. <laughs> no, it's like a piece of shit Chevy S10, but it'll get us there. So cool. So cool. Don't leave it. Leave it. Oh, this is good. This is Linda Ronstadt. It's better than nothing. Wait for the day. What an episode I found, I thought that was. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, totally different um, to the other other episodes. It didn't have that feeling of dread. Um, for a little bit it did. Um, but overall it was... It was focused more on bill and frank and they're, they're them building a life together uh like after the shit that hit the fan obviously you see elsewhere you see you know boston where it's all being blown to shit and it's like you know everybody's fighting everybody's dying everybody's getting shot and and then 
you know, yes, he was not a conspiracy nut, but he was a survivalist, as I said. Uh, and he he built a life. Not only did he build a life, he built almost his own little community. So uh, he, he had his own gates, he had his own fences. Um, so he he was just self sufficient. Um, and then Frank fell into his um, into his trap. Um, said he would eventually got him to come in. Um, not that he got got him to come in. Um, he eventually kind of said, "Okay, you can come in um, and have something to eat." Um, and then they, you know, they made a, they've made, they made a life together. Uh, and the fact that I kept jumping between like, like going to three years and then he got shot and it was like, and then jumped like seven years and, and all that. And it was just kind of like, wow, it, was, it just kind of really dragged you into the, to the story. Um, it, it, yeah, it, like I, like I mentioned, it, it usually takes a few episodes for you to kind of get it like, I'm not emotionally involved with characters and stuff, but I found myself getting like, it was it, like very emotionally involved with them too. Um, yeah, it was very good, well acted. I, I, th I don't know if this, how much of this was in the gameplay because obviously most of this was about Frank and that. I don't know whether it jumped to them in the gameplay or not. Um, obviously, you don't have to tell me that in the comment section. It's just what I'm kind of thinking out loud. Um, uh, yeah, and, and it was, you know, and then Joel and Tess obviously came and saw them. Yeah, you have to forgive me because they were talking about Frank and Bill like uh, like the episode before. And I was just like oblivious. And then all of a sudden, I was like, "Oh, it's Frank and Bill. All right, okay. So these are the people that they were talking to on the radio." That and I was just like, "Oh my god, how did that even not even click?" Um, and he was, yeah. It just I found myself quite quickly emotionally like invested in them too. Um, although all he wanted was to have a life, and and then when Frank turned up, he had a purpose. Um, and I was so scared. I was thinking, you know, this Frank's gonna. He's gonna hurt him, and and like I, I didn't want him because all he did was he, you know, he was self-sufficient. All he wanted to do was stay alive, and 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 anybody who came was getting like obviously you saw the, you know, you saw the the whatever they are, the um, mushroom people as Lewis calls them, <laughs> um, and then you know so he, he saw like you saw the he's like the the trap go off. That's so all he was doing was kind of being self-sufficient, and then when Frank came along, he had a purpose. And then they built a life together, and I was so, I was so afraid that when he was playing the piano, he was going to hit him. Like obviously you can tell, I was like going, don't hit him, don't hit him, because that's what I thought he was going to do. I thought he was just going to take, take it, take what he wanted. Um, but instead, no, though he did, he did really like him, and then you know they ended up building a life together, fell in love, and then, you know, and Frank, I don't know whether it was, uh, whether it was like a, a neuro, like a neuro, neurological problem, or whether he'd had a stroke or it was MS or, or something, but he, uh, Frank had was unwell and he got to a stage where he just didn't want to be there no more anymore and then you know he's uh and then when he i saw when he took the tablets i was thinking he did the same with the wine and i was like oh has he done the same but then i was thinking he didn't put it in his drink and then obviously it's turned out that he put it in the bottle um yeah he just he was like i'm old and i'm done i've, I've you know the fact that the fact that they'd had that life while everybody else in the whole world was in an absolute fuck nut mode uh, they they kind of he, he'd helped build that life for them together um, and you would be weary especially I mean when you saw Tess and Joel turn up like normally you'd be weary of outsiders I'd be going look tell them to piss off but because it was Tess and Joel I was like no we under that's our guys that's our guys we understand they're fine um, and then I've, I've, it, you know he's done what he's had to do you know I so said he, he wanted to go he was happy he didn't want to he didn't want to be on his own anymore um, and then Tess and Joel sorry, Tess and Joel uh, Ellie and Joel have turned up uh, got the stuff, got the van, and now they're going off to, off to Wyoming to see Tommy Hugh. Yeah, he's had a fallout with the Fireflies, and he's obviously had a fallout with, with our Joel along the way. So they're going to go and, and try and get him. But overall, I love that episode. Completely different. Um, yeah, it had a different feel to it. It was more like building the world. Um, more of the story. And uh, I loved it. I think it's just kind of like a, a calm before the storm episode. I, I'm guessing no. But yeah, I thought it was brilliant. Uh, thank you for watching you have to let me know in the comment section what you thought of it uh i've, I've just i'm totally immersed in this it's it's even though it was more about them uh, in this episode frank and bill it's it's very immersive I'm, I'm now even more immersed in the story um yeah just showed that you, you can go on to two into two different characters who weren't even around at the beginning of the episode and by the end of it be sad that they've gone like really sad and then now it's back to to joel and ellie and uh yeah you're like right now get back on it
but yeah, they should just keep loads of guns down there. And if ever, you know, they've got that, they've, he's always got that key to be able to get in there, to be able to find, to be able to get the weapons. Uh, I loved it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if it's your first time at the channel, um, I'll put a link for the other episodes of to this that I've seen up down there somewhere. And also I'll whack a subscribe button up there if you want to follow along. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I'll see you all very, very soon for episode four.